four days ago i got this email from one of my mentees and it says that hi daniel i'm pleased to inform you that i have been invited for an interview as a systems analyst developer and you know he also said thank you so much daniel you and your team are amazing now this is from someone who has never worked as a data analyst and we're able to follow a roadmap that led to this point if you're looking at becoming a data analyst and you're confused on how to go about it then you surely want to stick to this video till the end as i share with you the roadmap on how you can land yourself that data analytics role now for those who are coming across this channel my name is daniel and i'm a senior analyst work here in the united kingdom and i'll be sharing with you guys all you need to know when it comes to landing your first data analyst role so if you want to start afresh if you want to start all over again to getting into data analytics what would i do differently that's all i'll be sharing with you guys in that video and if you're coming across this channel for the first time do also hit on the subscribe button and my channel subscribers you guys are amazing thanks for being here i really do appreciate you guys so without further ado let's get right into the video it is really important for us to emphasize on the fact that loads of data analytics opportunities here in the uk and as you can see on the screen there are loads of you know, job vacancies for data analysts across different sectors so if you currently work in insurance or you work in healthcare or you work whatever kind of job you do there's always a data analytics opportunity in that same sector i recently had someone who works at insurance and he was bored of the whole routine of, of his job and he wanted to get into data and he was able to finally land himself a data analytics role within an insurance organization so yeah if you're bored of what you do and you want to get into the data part of things then definitely data analytics is one place is on you know of the job role you definitely want to look out for um yes yeah, so let's talk about the roadmap on how you can land yourself uh, a data analyst job here in the united kingdom or any of the developed countries now the first step you need to take to your journey of getting into data analytics is choosing your own learning path now guys there are two different ways of getting you know your technical skills up to speed in data analytics the first way is to go through the self-learning and the second way is to go through a training now for the self-learning you need to create a learning path and for those who have been following my channel for a while i already talked about the different tools you need to get up to speed with if you're trying to get into data analytics now the first is excel you need to get yourself up to speed with advanced excel to vb and macro level you also need to learn sql if you're trying to get into data analytics um, sql is very important sql is on a structured query language for those who don't know and also you need to get yourself up to speed with one of the data visualization tools so that can be either power bi or tableau or oracle bi depending on um, the data visualization tools used by the organization or the industry you're very much interested in so the first thing is to get your learning part ready so you need to learn those tools in the same order as i've just mentioned them and that's if you go through self-learning and there are lots of platforms that you can learn you know these tools from you can learn on youtube you can learn on coursera udemy linkedin learning just to mention a few now the second way is if you find it difficult to learn on your own probably you need someone to uh, mentor you and you know point you in the right direction then you need to go through training and that's why i'm introducing you to tech drive now i'm one of the instructors in tech drive we train uh, you know people who are trying to like transition into data analytics and if you're looking for you know a direct help get trained by myself or any of the um, trainers on tech drive they definitely want to check out tech drive so with tech drive we train you on advanced excel sql and power bi and also in the course of the training we get to help you work on your cv you know that was one of the things we did for the you know guy i mentioned earlier that just called an interview so we're going to work on your cv that will definitely give you some competitive advantage on your next application and also we help you, help you build your portfolio so in the course of the training you get to work on some projects that would definitely be added to your um, data analytics portfolio and also we also going to have conversations about how to push out your applications and you know a lot of interesting stuff you even get some level of uk experience with tech drive so if you're looking at getting trained with tech drive they, they want, we want to send an email to tech drive 06 at gmail.com or you visit our website www.techdriveuk.com and get all the help you need to land your next data analytics role now the second thing you need to do after you've been able to get your technical skills up to speed is to create a master portfolio Having the right technical skills and the theoretical knowledge of data analytics is not enough to land your job. And one of the major reasons or one of the major things that recruiters and potential employers look out for when they're trying to like recruit anyone for a particular role is to see how you can apply the technical skills you have in data analytics into real life problem, solving problem with data. And that's one of the things you need to like get to do 
on your project. So you take up data, you can go on different you know, data um, websites like Kaggle, Data World, just to mention a few, and check out data for different organizations and create a dashboard or create an insight on some of the challenges you could detect or notice on the data and what are the potential solutions you think you can actually provide to help with business decisions. So building your portfolio is that way of you being able to convert your theoretical knowledge, your technical skills into creative solutions to real life problem. And that's what most organizations are looking out for in a data analyst for any kind of um, role. So it's really important for you to create a portfolio. That's one way for you to prove your technical skills and also your ability to convert raw data into actionable and insights. And number three things you need to do that will help you land your next data analytics job is to make sure that you have a very competitive curriculum vitae a created, which is popular known as CV. Now guys, the first point of contact of your employer, potential employer or recruiter is your CV. That's the first thing they get to see. That's the first thing they get to see to create a perception about your skill sets, your, you know, your, your, yourself as an individual or as a data analyst. That's the first thing they get to see. And it's really important for you to create a very strong perception on your CV. And uh, trust me, guys, there are lots of people. And for those who are watching this video, if you've been applying for jobs in the UK or any of the developed countries and you're not getting interview invites, then I'm 100% telling you that the major reason is because you have some issues that you need to address on your CV. You need some help with creating a great CV. So if you think you need some help with creating a CV, there's a link in the description of this video. I help people create a master CV that definitely give them some competitive advantage on their next job application. So if you think you need some help, click on the link below and get some help with creating an amazing CV for your next job application. Now, the next thing you need to do is to make sure you join a data community. Now guys, trust me, most of the jobs are, you know, contain both remote jobs and on-site jobs came as a result of the fact that, you know, I'm part of a community, there are lots of community on LinkedIn, on different platforms where you can, you know, you get to see like-minded individuals who are also looking for the same thing you're looking for, and also people who have been where you want to be. So getting into a data community is really, really important. It helps you, it opens your mind to so many things that, you know, quite a number of tools that I never thought I needed to learn until I see people talk about how they're able to get a job because they had that particular to that particular skill set. I remember, you know, I've seen someone who said, oh, he got a job because he had to learn some, you know, he had to build his skills on Oracle developer. And I decided to like, okay, let me just give you the show. Let me also learn this Oracle developer. And that landed me the job I work, you know, where I work right now. Because where I work, they majorly use Oracle developer for most of the ETL pipelines and all of that. So yeah, it's really important for you to make sure that you join the data community so that you have that community of like minds um, that would help you become um, a better data analyst. Another additional point I'm going to mention is getting mentorship. Guys, trust me, there's nowhere you want to be in the UK that someone has not been before. And it helps you to, you know, get in contact with people that have been where you want to be and try and get some clarification from them. Trust me, if I had done that when I was trying to get into data, that would have saved me a whole year of applying wrongly and trying to get into data analytics with no success in view. So guys, if you to get mentorship, if you have all of the technical skills, you have the portfolio, you have a very good CV and it looks like you're not landing a job, then you definitely need to contact someone that will give you some clarity on what you're doing wrong and how you can do some um, something differently. So if you need some help and you want to jump in my one-to-one -one session, also go to the description of this video to click on the link to jump on a 30 minutes call with me so that I can answer all the questions you might have when it comes to trying to get a job in data analytics. I hope you find this video resourceful. If you do, please click on the like button. If you have any other questions that hasn't been addressed in this video, please click in the comment section. And if you're coming across my channel for the very first time, do also hit on the subscribe button to join the amazing growing family and my fellow subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. So this will be the end of this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.